That one is glorious. Hi, I'm Don Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and I'm very excited. Today we're doing a first look of trailer expressions from Sample Logic. I cannot get enough great sound design for trailer hits, impacts, textures, those kind of sounds. I've been turning in a lot of uh, demos to a couple different trailer houses I'm working with, and my continued feedback consistently from those directors is add a little more sound design impacts and hits. That's why I was very excited to see that uh, Sample Logic teamed up with this incredible sound designer who I'm a big fan of here to create trailer expressions. In this first look video, we're just gonna jump in and I'm gonna play through the sounds, maybe tweak the instrument a little bit. Haven't opened it up before, so it's all new to me. Let's dig in and listen. Library downloads as just over four gigabytes and contains 1,000 samples. The sound design for all of this was created by Claudio Pellicero, who you might know from his work over at String Audio. The uh, library contains all original atmospheres, drones, risers, stingers, scrapes, whooshes, brahms, impacts, and reversers. It comes with 29 contact NKIs. There's uh, the ability to morph and tweak via MIDI CCs on the interface. And all the samples are also available as WAV files. Trailer Expressions does require the full version of Contact. And at the time of putting this first look together, the instrument just came out yesterday. It's on a special intro price. You can grab it for $129 and jump back up to $199 at the end of September 2017. Be sure to include links in the description below, take you straight over to the trailer expressions page. So we're just gonna take a first look here. Um, I have not played with the instrument before. Uh, we've got uh, a folder for ambiences and a folder for percussives. Uh, I'm gonna jump into those percussives because those are gonna be exciting. I know the alarms and sirens NKI here pulling it up. And as you can see, Sample Logic has opted for us to go with a big boy interface. Let's take a listen to some of these sounds. This is this interesting the way it's kind of a jumping around there. So it's obviously uh, a loop with some tempo syncing. Um, that's my estimation. So we've got this little heart icon. So there's gotta be what, some way that we're actually labeling it uh, to go back at uh, another date here. You can see it uh, highlights the key. So now we know which alarms maybe that we've highlighted. We put a heart on it. It's pretty cool. It looks like we've got some uh, different energize and punish effects. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Let's listen to the punish. Okay, we've got some delay, convolution, uh, low cut and high cut. Let's take a listen to some of the booms. I seem to never have enough booms in my sound palette. Uh, we got Brahms. Of 
So it looks like this one's got a lot going on in the trail end. Wonder if we're able to move our attack. Oh, look at that beautifully. You just grab it. So our attack here is just our uh, millisecond uh, crossfade in, I believe. Yeah, those are some pretty mighty Brahms. <laughs> Distorted, yeah. So much bite, and uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, Claudio's sound design. I know we've uh, done videos on some of his instruments in the past, but it's amazing that he's teamed up here with Sample Logic. Let's listen to some of these downers. So no shortage of uh, Brahms, booms, or downers. It looks like we got one, two, three, a little over three octaves of downers. Listen to these hits. And it looks like we've got high cut and low cut right on the front. So we can make these kind of a, a quick, simple boom by cranking up our uh, appropriately titled convolution reverbs. Let's add a little bit of delay. Yeah, it's not sure what this is going to be. Let's check it out. So we got all kinds of controls. Um, just with the high cut and low kit, I, I guess what I'm meaning to say is we've got all kinds of ability to change the sounds of those, turn all our hits into booms there. Uh, these delays are wacky sounding. There's all kind of phasing going on. And uh, yeah, I'll probably listen through some convolutions here as well. into the red there. Yeah, so they they have sculpted the delays and IRs specifically for uh, trailer design hits and cinematic kind of hits. That one is glorious.
These are some pretty great sounding impacts. We got three uh, separate instruments of impacts. And again, with these, these delay and IRs. really get a uh, different kind of shape to the sounds. on here. I like that one. And I'll put a heart on it. <laughs> So I, I like how you just drag your input point because I, I feel like that one has a little bit before of what, uh, if I want to use it as a, a hit. So now I can line it up and... Here it is. Okay, so the... Um, the tech slider... Uh, it looks like it's a universal for all of them. So that's important to note. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's do a couple more of the percussion patches. Percussion processed percussion two. That one's got a little bit of an after hit, even. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one's fierce. Is it just me or the third process percussion pushed even further? I wonder if it's incrementally um, processed out. One's a little cleaner, two is even more, three's the most processed. That's a, a hot cup of coffee there, folks. All right, let's listen to the pulses. So what I want to investigate real quick is I want to hear how this is set up as far as uh, tempo syncing. So uh, okay, now I've increased my tempo uh, from one hundred and twenty to two hundred. Okay, so that's doing exactly what I thought it is. If we slow it way down. Okay, that's at 66. So it uh, is tempo syncing to jump to those next, uh, the next downbeat. Once you get there in your DAW, uh, Dawes Tempo Locked, which is, is pretty cool. I have not, I don't know if I've seen this in a contact instrument. So this is a, a maybe some new scripting they've come up with us for this. Let's go 
back to our 120. <laughs> that one's a little poppy. Yeah. Completely trailer ready. Yeah, these are every uh, every patch is a winner in my book. Let's see what we got here for the reverses. And again, we're tempo syncing, which is fun. I'm going to slow it way down. I just want to hear the whole reverse. Okay. And go back up to my tempo. Actually, I'm going to go a little faster just to hear that jumping. Yeah, that's nice because now we're creating that pulse out of it. Uh, got... Uh, not as many um, risers. As maybe um, some of the other uh, soundscapes or uh, instruments had more samples per category. Scrapes. A lot of atmosphere in that. These are much longer than uh, I expected. These are a little shorter up in the higher register. And uh, setbacks. Yeah. Instant excitement. Whoosh bangs. <laughs> Complete trailer opener hits here. Uh, what is that, a dog? <laughs> Sounds like a dog. In a world with only one trailer expressions. Wow. These are, I'm, I'm really loving these. I don't think there's a dud in the sample set. Uh, love to hear your thoughts. Comment below, what do you think about these samples so far? I'm gonna go into the ambience folder in just a second. Ambiences. Let's listen to, uh, we got four patches here, atmospheres. Pretty haunting.
and these are quite long too so there's probably a lot of uh, material yeah there's a lot of material throughout so you could really listen through the whole thing find something that you really love or that you think will work for uh, particular moments where you need those atmospheres Let's go ahead and move into uh, drones. Really beautiful sound design. Got a folder, uh, or a an instrument of noises. Looks like we get a little over an octave. Uh, yeah, that one, they went to town on that one. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I could uh, have my, my release cut off exactly when I lift up uh, my finger off the keyboard because it was held holding out afterwards there. I want to make sure that's all that was. And again, this convolution here really can shape what the uh, resonance is like. We can uh, MIDI CC that and really go to town. So that'd be a lot of fun. Let's listen to the stingers. Wrap this up here, guys. As wave formats, you can now, um, you know, put this on your phone, use it as your alarm. That will wake you up in the morning. Oh, that one's just got a lot of musicality to it. <laughs> wrap it up here for our first look of trailer expressions i tell you i'm um i'm really pleased with these i love the sounds uh and i know that i'm gonna get a lot of use out of these i'm at this point where every time i'm trailing in trailer tracks my music supervisor keeps telling me that these are great but make it more a little bit more sound designy add a little bit more hits and effects and i think trailer expressions is going to do wonders for my toolkit be sure and comment in the description below we'd love to hear your thoughts what do you think about trailer expressions like share and subscribe we'd love your support and be sure to head over to sample library review.com for all the latest news reviews and our weekly deals page <laughs> <laughs>